Good morning and welcome to the Tony's Tackle Sea Fishing Channel. We're back with Steve and we're going to be doing some um, little short videos about bait rigging. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to have a quick look at Steve's jig that he uses for making rigs. So we've had a couple of people asking about your your jig, um, the rig that you use or the jig yeah. you use for, for rig building board. rigs. I mean, I don't think it's anything particularly complicated, is it? <laughs> okay, we're just talking through it. Okay, so um, it's just a scrap piece of wood that I had from when they did the garage and I just put some nails in it so I can show you what I did. It's another piece of scrap wood. You need a hammer, some nails, I just happen to have these brass ones, plastic band, piece of wire, pen, cutters, tape measure. And all I did was decide that one's 90 centimetres, this is a bit longer. Just measure it out. So, what have I got there? 136, oh, a bit of an odd number. And then it's a very simple case of. Take a minute to close it down. So just measuring one centimetre. I'm not going to hit you too hard on air because it's a glass table. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I do. Oh, my name would be Mud. And then with your tape measure, you can measure it in whatever you like. So I do it in ten centimetres. This is just so that you know that you that where you, where you are on the board. Mm -hmm. So I've measured up to 110 centimeters because most of my rigs aren't any longer than that. Now we just put a pin at the head, and then most of my two foot rigs are at 60. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So I put one in at 60. And then I've got one at 80. And these are just brass panel pins, nothing special. Got more pins on my board because I do two or three or sometimes yeah. five rigs at a time. If you want the clip that's at the end, that's just off a A4 clipboard, or you could put a bulldog clip there, whatever you like. It's just if you've got a bit of loose line you want to keep behind. Then I get a little piece of wire. This one's actually earth wire out of a three core cable. This is just a little garden wire tag. Fold it round, so you've got the loop in it. And wrap it round the elastic band a couple of times. And that's just your tensioner. Now I found that elastic bands seem to break far more often than they used to. Mm. But, uh, you can follow the postman around, should you ever wish to get some more. And I, I do put the lids in plastic bags, but of course uh, it's much easier on winders, but for this purpose. So you just clip the wire through the pulley bead. Like so. It will go down onto there. So you can make up your rig as you want it. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Okay, and, and as you say, you're on your, your board that you use generally, you've got five pins on there, so you can actually yep. tie five rigs at the same time. Yeah, five bodies. So you get a bit of a production line going. Yep. Uh, and I also notice that you've cropped the tops off. Cropped the tops off, yeah, just because it's quicker. Yeah. 
so the things so like swivels and that you might find won't go over over a little yeah sometimes they won't go over the heads but, um, but I mean it's very simple simple piece of kit I mean I, I use something is even more simple than that because I kind of do it ad hoc but that's um, that's that's great isn't it yeah so um, for those of you that, that asked that's how Steve has built his rig sorry his jig for tying rigs um, okay fantastic catch you later